and kind of pull into it. And we may repeat it, okay? okay? Um, but it will be rel relatively congregational. Hello, Dr. Simmons. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, and then to end, uh, mm, right here I'll do that mm -hmm. keep your eyes keep your eyes on the prize hold on hold on keep your eyes keep Refrain, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, keep your eyes, keep your eyes on them, keep your eyes, keep your eyes on them, keep your eyes, keep your eyes on
Jesus. No, it's not. is the day this is the day that the lord has made that the lord has made you can put your hands together i will rejoice i will rejoice oh this is the day that the lord has made i will rejoice and be glad in it this is the day oh this is the day that the lord hath made one more time this is the day this is the day yes it is this is the day that the lord hath made that the lord hath made I will rejoice, I will rejoice, and be glad in it, and be glad. Oh, this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day, this is the day. That the Lord has made. Here's another one. It said, Bless that wonderful name of Jesus. Oh, bless that wonderful name of Jesus. Oh, come on and bless that wonderful name of Jesus. There is no other name I know. There's power in power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There's so much power in the name of Jesus. And there's no other name I know. Oh, victory is mine. Yeah, victory is mine. Victory today is mine. I told Satan, get thee behind. Oh, victory today is mine. Oh, tell me who can stand before us when we call on that great name, Jesus. Jesus, precious Jesus, we have the victory. Oh, tell me who can stand for us when we call on that great name. His name is Jesus, Jesus. Precious Jesus, we have the victory. Good morning. Welcome to chapel here at Columbia Theological Seminary. We're so grateful that you are gathered here and joining us online. I will try to keep the announcements brief this morning to maximize our time singing together. So let us begin by thanking Dr. Tony McNeil for planning and leading us in worship. Amen. 
as well as all of our guest musicians today. We are so, so grateful. And if you want to continue to sing with us, do not hesitate to join our choir. Come to rehearsals on Monday afternoons. The time has changed. 3.30 to 4.30 p.m. downstairs in Harrington Auditorium. We would absolutely love to see you there. We also invite you to come join us again on Friday, same time, same place, for a service of word and table led by Columbia alums. The Reverend Dr. Wiley Hughes is preaching, and it will be a fruitful service to finish um, a week of togetherness and joy. Um, and in that spirit, we invite you all to start wearing name tags at chapel so that we can greet one another and get to know one another by name. And we also have coffee and tea, so linger and fill your mug and fill your spirits. And friends, with that, let us continue our worship of God. Family of God, co-conspirators of Jesus and justice, we have assembled to worship God to reflect upon the legacy of black sacred music, to call the names of those who have made significant contributions in the treasure chest of hymns, protest songs, spirituals, gospel, and other styles that have helped us to praise, lament, pray, remember, and shape our lives into an offering of worship to God and service to the world. Use your hymnals, hymn number 540. Let's sing together. Lift every voice and sing till earth and heaven ring. Ring with the harmony of liberty that I rejoice. We will march on, we will fight on, we will pray on. So the slide is not participating. So we'll, I'll, I'll, I'll read the response. It says, when justice seems distant and our feet grow weary, let our tears water our work and give us the courage to stand when hope not born has died second stanza stony the road we trod bitter the chastening rod felt in the days when hope unborn had died yet with a steady feet have not our will Come to the place for which our father sighed. We have come over a way that with tears has been watered. We have come treading our path through the blood of slaughter. Now from the Where the white gleam of our bright star is cast. Family, justice is hard work. We need each other, and we need God. 
Okay, that slide is not working. We pray we remain faithful to the path that leads us to freedom. And we'll sing this third stanza together in the style of a prayer. God of our weary years, God of our silent tears, Thou who has brought us thus far all the way, Thou who has died the night, led us into the light, keep us forever. may be seated. Amen. Welcome to chapel, everybody. This morning's uh, chapel service is meant to be a song, a service in song, a service that visits the different textures and sounds of the black church experience. And we have way more music than we have time. And so some of these we may get to, some of these we may not get to, some of these we might just touch a little bit of, and then we're going to go on to the next one. But the goal is to try to cover as much of this music as possible. And one of the other things that I wanted to do was for you to see the faces of the people who wrote these lyrics. Okay. The opening uh, praise and worship chorus that we did, this is the day, um, we, we showed the face of Patrick Henderson, who is believed to be the father or the godfather of black praise and worship music. And that medley of songs that we did came from the album that helped define that genre of music for the black church. We just lost him a couple of weeks ago. He died the day before his 75th birthday. And so there's no way I could have done this congregational hymn song, sing without honoring the legacy of Patrick Henderson. And so we speak his name in this space uh, and thank him for his legacy uh, in chartering, chartering the, um, paving the way for African-American congregational song. This next um, um, part of the service is our time of prayer that we're going to spend in singing. Uh, if you will turn in your hymnal to hymn number 665 toward the back of the hymnal. And this is a tribute that I want to pay to Mama King, uh, Mrs. Alberta Williams King. There she is on the screen. She is Ebenezer Baptist Church's first full-time minister of music. I stood on her shoulders in that position. And many of you know Mama King died in corporate worship. She was murdered in worship. Okay. A gunman came with the intent to kill Daddy King, but he was preaching at another church, and he shot her in the old church, in the historic in, uh, sanctuary. And I think another deacon passed away that was sitting beside the organ, um, and, and then another person was injured in, in that um, uh, terrible day of worship. But Mama King had just played this version of the Lord's Prayer before she died on the Hammond organ. 
And so I want to honor her king, uh, honor her legacy, Mama King's le legacy, as a musician, as a as a, a church leader, as uh, an advocate advocate for the community. And I uh, rendered this chant version of the Lord's Prayer that you see at the bottom of the page. Okay? We're going to start right there on the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory for It's a version of the Lord's Prayer that's sung oftentimes in African-American uh, church worship services, maybe during around communion or as sung prayer in any worship service. So we speak your name, Mama King. Thank you for your legacy. The next thing that I want us to do is to, uh, if you'll turn to hymn number 524, I want us to take a look at um, the uh, arranged or the spiritual as a congregational song. Many of us, when we think of spirituals, we think of more of the concertized arrangements of spirituals, and those are important, but uh, there's nothing that gets closer to the authentic performance of a spiritual than the congregational version of singing spirituals. And this is one that uh, I'd like for us to maybe try the refrain and maybe one of the one of the stanzas here. The first stanza. There is a bomb in Gilead to make the wounded whole. There is a bomb in. The sensic soul. Stanza says, Sometimes I feel discouraged and think my words in vain. But then the Holy Spirit revives my soul again. Oh, 
Oh, that was beautiful, y'all. 349. 349 is another uh, uh, beautiful rendition of a, a congregational rendition of a spiritual. And this was one of the um, uh, spirituals that Daddy King would raise often in worship. It says, Tis the old, find your barn hole, ship up, yes, of Zion. Yeah. Tis the old ship of Zion. Oh, tis the old. There you go. Ship of Zion. Get on board. That first verse says, it has landed many a thousand. It has landed many a thousand. It has landed. Get on board, get on board. Get on board, get on board, get on board. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's often how they would start a good old devotional service. And the deacon would just come out of nowhere and the congregation would just fall right in. Everybody would find their part and they're, they're in the harmony. Sometimes they would make up the harmony, and it was okay. okay? That was the part of the nature of the, of the music. You didn't have to have a great voice, okay? Because nine times out of ten, somebody on your row probably picked up the slack where, <laughs> where you may have left off. And it all worked. It all worked. There was no degree of talent needed. Hey, you came as you are, and you brought what you had, and it worked. It worked. It worked. Okay, um, this next uh, 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 part of the, our, our journey together, hymn number 128, is the metered hymn tradition. Uh, that is one of the earliest forms of the call and response and congregational song in the African-American church. Um, some of you may know it as the lining out tradition where the deacon will call or speak the words of the hymn because everybody in the congregation wasn't literate and uh, that deacon was chosen as the song leader because of his or her uh, literacy and they would feed the congregation the words and then the congregation would sing the words back on a tune that was familiar to that congregation. And one of the things that was uh, really interesting about the metered hymn tradition, you could take the same text and go two churches down the street, okay, and they will take the same text and put a different tune on top of it, okay? You didn't have to go too far. So congregations held on to these tunes, and sometimes they made them up as they sang them, 
Okay? And I love this contribution of the African American Heritage Hymnal because what it's done here, it's attempted to codify that tradition by outlining the uh, specific pi pictures for this particular rendition of this Charles Wesley hymn. Okay? So, in, in a, in, uh, and I'm, I'm trying to honor uh, uh, what's on the page just a little bit, and that some of it I, I may I may go uh, awry. So those, those of you who are who are music readers, don't 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 freak out. Okay? <laughs> uh, so uh, the the deacon may or may not do this. They, he might say, "Father, I stretch my hand to thee," and then you come in where it says, "All, Father." I stretch my hand to thee. There you go. And then the deacon will come back in. No other help I know. No the help I know if thou withdraw thyself from me. If thou withdraw my thyself from me, oh, whither shall I go? And they would stay on that hymn, and, they, and many times they would sing all six or seven stanzas, okay? And it would take about 30 minutes to get through that hymn. But they would commit to every pitch, every part of the text. They would honor it. Sometimes they would put 50 notes on one syllable, okay? But that was the nature of the, of, of, of the congregational style there, okay? Now, I want us to journey to page 544, and I want you to... Um, to look at uh, this particular hymn, uh, I wanted to share this as a piece of history. I'll overcome someday. It is believed that the civil rights song, We Shall Overcome, came out of this particular hymn that was written by Charles Albert Tindley, a United Methodist pastor who was the janitor or the sexton at the church he would later become the pastor of. Okay. He got his theological education through what they called, and, and those of you who are a little younger, this might be a foreign word, through correspondence courses. <laughs> Some of you may know what that is, where they mailed you your work. Your, you got your work not through Moodle, but through the, <laughs> through the U.S. Postal Service. So he taught himself theology. Okay? And, um, and was ordained and became the, vi the pastor of the church where he served as sexton in Philadelphia. Okay? So he, and he was a tremendous hymn writer. And, um, and so I want, I want to start at the refrain at the bottom of the page where it says, I'll overcome someday, I'll overcome someday, if in my heart I do. I'll overcome someday. Let's try that refrain. I'll overcome, breathe. I'll overcome someday. I'll overcome someday. Within my heart I do not yield. I'll overcome someday. Let's try stanza one. Here we go. And. 
This world is one great battlefield with forces all arrayed. If in my heart I do not yield, I'll overcome, I'll overcome, I'll overcome someday. I'll overcome someday. Within my heart I do not yield. I'll overcome someday. Let's do the last stanza. My mind, though many a time no signs appear, sorry, of a then I pray, my Jesus, my Jesus says I need not fear. I'll make it plain some. I'll, I'll be like him someday. I'll be like him someday. I need not fear. I'll be like him someday. And if you'll hop over to 418, this is another beloved hymn that Charles Albert Tindley is known for, often sung at uh, African American funerals. We are often tossed and driven on the restless sea of time summer skies and yes all the sea of bright sunshine in the land of perfect day when the mist has rolled away and we'll understand it better by and by in the morning by and by when the morning comes when the saints of God are gathered home, and we will tell the story how we overcome, and we'll understand it better by and by. Temptations, hidden snares, often unaware, and our hearts are made to bleed for the thoughtless word or deed. And we wonder why the tests try to do our best. And we'll understand it. Oh, by and by, by and by. When the morning comes, oh, all the saints of God are gathered. And we will tell story how we overcome and we'll understand it oh by and by by and by when the morning comes when all the saints of God together oh we will tell how we overcome and we'll understand one more time. Oh, by and by. By and by. Oh, when the morning comes. When oh, all the saints of God together. When we will tell. Yeah, how we overcome. And we'll understand it better. By and by. Hallelujah. We'll understand it better by and by. I want to, to take some time also to give voice to some voices that are, ver are rarely uh, honored, especially in music spaces, which is uh, music ministry is very male dominated. Uh, professionally, uh, in the gospel music industry, uh, heavily, very uh, male dominated, okay? and also in the local church. Um, but I think it, it, any time that I get the chance to honor female hymn writers and female uh, women who have made significant contributions to congregational song in the black church, I want to do that. And so uh, I want to honor this lady right here, Margaret Pleasant Darrow, who is still with us, uh, lives in Los Angeles and uh, the daughter of a preacher and a minister of music and a prolific songwriter. There's a song in the black church that she's known for that says, If it had not 
been for the Lord on my side. Tell me where would I be? Where would I? One more time, if it had, if it had not been for the Lord on my side. be the verse says he kept my enemies away come on he let the sun shine through a cloudy day and he wrapped me in the cradle of his arm for he knew i had been battered by the storm oh if it had not been for the lord on my side, tell me where would I be? Where would I be? The next female hy hymn writer is Fanny Crosby. I want to honor, honor her. Many of us know her as uh, the, uh, the great hymn, Blessed Assurance. This is my story. This is my song. This lady here wrote that. And she also wrote Jesus Keep Me Near the Cross and thousands of other hymns and poems. And many of them, they are still discovering. Okay? They're still discovering. There is a great one of the, of the black church said that says, Pass me not, O gentle. 435. Savior, hear my humble cry. Says, while on others thou art called, in Savior, do not pass me by. I'm crying. Savior, oh, say, Savior, hear my humble cry. Why on others thou art called all in to not pass. Bye. At 671, we go to another uh, prolific uh, hymn writer, uh, woman hymn writer, uh, Doris May Akers. Many of you know her uh, for the great uh, hymn of the church that we sing, Sweet Holy Spirit, Sweet Heavenly Dove, Sweet, Sweet Spirit, and then lead me, guide me along the way. But she also composed 671 which is a classic hymn that we sing during the offering <laughs> to encourage people to give. <laughs> you can't beat God giving. Oh, no matter, no matter how. There you go. <laughs> oh, and just as sure as you are living that the Lord is in heaven. Oh, the more, the more you give, the more he gives to you. Just keep on giving because it's really true that you can't beat God no matter how you try. Yeah, some of y'all know something about that. Hymn number 402, we come to Georgia, to our very own Thomas Georgia Tom Dorsey. 
Many of you know uh, Dr. Dorsey for the beloved hymn, Precious Lord, Take My Hand, and uh, so many other gospel favorites. He was the Kirk Franklin of his time. Eh? He had one foot in the juke joint, as the folks call it, in the nightclub, and one foot in the church. And he would cross-pollinate the sounds. Eh? He would bring the chord structures from the juke joint on Saturday night and lay sacred text on top of those chord patterns. Eh? And many of the church folk didn't like that because many of them were there when he played it. <laughs> he got put out of a lot of churches for that. But it was the germ that created what we call now call traditional gospel music. Right? Um, and so this is, a, uh, this is one of his, um, his standards here. Uh, again, this is a, a, a popular little funeral song here. And it's also sung for worship as well. It's a highway to heaven. Oh, none can walk up there but the pure in heart. And it's a highway to heaven. I am walking up the king. Uh, let's do that much again. It's a highway. It's a highway to heaven. Oh, none can walk up there but the pure in heart. And it's a highway to heaven. I am walking up the king. Uh, let's sing the first verse says my way my way gets brighter my low gets lighter walking up the king's highway keep going good job there's joy in knowing with him i'm going walking up the king's highway it's a high it's a highway to heaven Oh, none can walk up there, but the pure in heart. And it's a highway to heaven. I am walking up the King's highway. Amen. Okay, time is upon us. Those of you that have to go to class, you know you can leave. You know you can leave. But if you can stay, we're, going, we're almost done. I want to uh, just sing just a little bit of this next song, uh, this tribute to Alma Irene Bazell and Drozo Thompson. Uh, and she is the writer of this hymn text, If I Can Help Somebody As I Pass Along, If I Can sh Share, If I Can Show, that should be show and not sheer. <laughs> that should, if I can show somebody with a word or song, if I can show somebody that they are traveling wrong, then my living shall not be in vain. I wanted to acknowledge this text for two reasons. Number one, Dr. King used to quote this song at the end of a lot of his speeches and sermons. This song was written by this woman here who was a healer. A, she was a seer. Uh, she would go and visit the sick and the shut-in and lay hands. Okay? And she would oftentimes see a lot of trauma and a lot of despair in the families that she would in, engage with. And so this song came out uh, 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 from her as a lament, really, for the families and for the, for the folks that she would heal and touch and in, engage with. Um, and I, I wanted just to sing maybe just this first stanza. And I'm going to invite, invite Jackie, would you come? And, uh, grab, grab that mic there. Or Susan, just grab that mic. And Jackie, you can stay where you are. Yeah. Just listen. If I can help somebody as I pass along, if I can cheer somebody yes. 
with the word or a song if I can show somebody they are traveling wrong then my living shall not be in vain. Those of you that know living shall not be in vain. Then, then my living shall not be in vain. If I can help somebody as I pass along, then my living shall not be in vain. Amen. Amen. To send us home, I thought we would honor the tradition of the protest song. And I'm going to invite you to sing, to stand, if those of you that are able to stand, or stand in, in spirit, if you will, as we sing, keep your eyes on the prize. And this will serve as our charge and our benediction. And I want to thank all of you for coming and being a part of this, this time of singing and worship through singing and, and learning and seeing these faces and honoring these contributions to the reservoir of congregational song that we have. Uh, keep your eyes. Paul and Silas bound in jail had no money for to go their bill. Keep your eyes on the prize. Hold on, hold on. Paul and Silas thought they were lost. The dungeon shook and the chains came off. Keep your eyes on the prize. Hold on. Everybody say, say, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Keep your eyes on the prize. Hold on, hold on. Freedom's name is mighty sweet, and soon we're going to meet. Keep your eyes on the prize. Hold on, hold on. Oh, I got my hand on the gospel plow. I wouldn't take nothing for my journey now. Keep your eyes on the prize. Hold on, hold on. Say, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Keep your eyes on the prize. Hold on, hold on. Whoa, now the only thing we did was wrong. Stayed in the wilderness a little too long. Keep your eyes on the prize. Hold on. The only thing we did was right. Was the day we started to fight. Keep your eyes on the prize. Hold on. Oh, hold on, hold on, keep your eyes on the prize, hold on, oh, oh, hold on, hold on, yeah, keep your eyes on, keep your eyes, keep your eyes. Keep your eyes, eyes on, eyes on. 
Keep your eyes, eyes. Keep your eyes. Don't give up your eyes on. Don't give in your eyes on. Keep your eyes, keep your eyes on. Keep your eyes, keep your eyes on the prize. Hold on, hold on. And may God be with you until we meet again. Thank you, God, for each soul that has come to lift up their voices and to sing praise and honor to your name and remember the persons who have labored to write these songs, to give us strength, to get through the day, to get through the week, God, to get through the years. Thank you for the gifts of the black church for the sounds and textures of the black church. Thank you, oh God, how you have fortified her and the growth that she needs and deserves, God. We know she is not where she needs to be, but we know with you, we can strive to get there. Keep us together and allow us to keep striving for the prize and to hold on. We love you and we count this blessing and uh, accept your presence even now. In Christ's name we pray, amen. Have a great day, everybody. Praise God. Thank you so much for being here.